Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Sunshine Islands. I am here today for the fireworks festival, which is taking place at the meadow. I've gone ahead and played my day today to bring us into the evening. And it was a very quiet day because unlike the festival days that take place during the daytime, Everybody is actually unavailable for this entire day because we cannot talk to them prior to the start of the festival and we cannot talk to them at the end of the festival because when we're finished with the festival today, it's going to send us home to bed. So it's interesting because we haven't had an evening festival yet, but they are very, very quiet. You don't have to worry about giving out gifts or anything like that. You just want to do your chores and any maintenance or chopping or fishing or anything that you want to do and you have from 6 p.m. until 11.50 to go to this event so go wild use as much stamina as you want to keep in mind that these stores are not open so don't make yourself too hungry or two out of energy, because if you're using the cafe or the diner to restore your stamina, you will not be able to do that. I've already gone ahead and done what I wanted to do today. So we're gonna go ahead and have Kirk bring us over to Meadow Island. So the bad news is, unfortunately, this is yet another festival that we are not going to be able to take part in. I was really hopeful that we were going to have a chance at this one because we've been doing so well with giving the girls gifts and watching their events. I mean, Julia, we've been giving a gift to every single day since spring, day 10. We haven't missed a day and she still doesn't have the appropriate heart color. You need a green heart, which is two heart colors away from where we are now. We need to get a yellow heart, which then turns into a green heart. Uh, which is rather disappointing because I feel like that's asking a lot in your first year. They really, really punish you your first year in this game. They just don't want you to have any fun. Uh, but the good news is we can see here that Lana is at a purple heart which is great. Just the couple of fish we've given her has made a difference. And uh, Natalie's also at a blue heart now. So she's caught up to Julia pretty quickly because we've had Julia at a blue heart for a while now. But you can have a look around and it'll give you a good idea about both female and male. Uh, candidates that you can ask to watch the fireworks with you. Anybody who's here, you can ask. So all of the regular bachelorettes and bachelors are here. Um, we do not have the opportunity to take Witch Princess or Shay to this event. They do not show up and they are not eligible for this. As well as Mark and Chelsea. Uh, whichever one of those two you have unlocked, they will also not show up to this festival. But you have pretty much every other pick for both genders. So how this would normally work is you would talk to the person who has the green heart or more, and then you would just ask them if they wanted to watch. And whoever it is you watch the fireworks with, you would gain an increase in friendship with them. Because we do not have a date for this festival, Ganon is going to be our date. So he puts the whole thing together, and if you don't have anyone to go with, then you just watch with him. If you don't feel like watching them with Ganon or you just don't feel like coming, you don't have to. You can completely skip this festival altogether and just try again next year, but I figured I would show it off. You can see there that our character is uh, a little disappointed. I would be too. So many cute girls and nobody wants to watch with me. 
disappointing. All right, well, since that video really gave me absolutely no content whatsoever, we're gonna go ahead and do some things today. I'll worry about doing my chores later. I'll come back to the farm. I'm gonna talk to Will and I'm gonna give him his gift. I've started giving him gifts and Will is easy to befriend because he loves flowers. Any type of flower that you get in any season, he's going to love. And that means we'll be able to get our friendship with him uh, much quicker because we're giving him a 500 point gift rather than a 300 point gift. So we should have his gifts on stone in no time. I've started to give fish to uh, Ray here and hopefully I can also uh, get his sunstone soon now that I have fishing available to me. Because Will is accepting gifts, Lily should be accepting gifts. If I had anything to give her, which I kind of don't, I don't really have anything good for her. But I'll keep talking to her every day, of course. We've already gotten Martin's friendship sunstone. Or his gift sunstone, sorry. We've already gotten his gift sunstone. We gave him bamboo shoots in the springtime. But if I can get his friendship a little bit higher, then I should be able to enter his house when he's home and get his household sunstone. He actually has a second one for me. So I've been giving him fish as well in hopes that that'll be another easy sunstone that I can nab. And Lana's walking around, I might as well give her a fish as well. I don't know where all these weeds came from. Why are there so many weeds? It's insane. I'll sigh. So I'm gonna go over to Will's yacht because there is a sunstone here that I have been neglecting and I haven't bothered to pick it up. I don't even remember where it is, but it's on his ship somewhere. When he moves in, ah, here it is. It's on the barrel near the front of the ship there. When he moves in, you can go and get that sunstone at any time, but I guess I've just kind of forgotten about it. So while we wait for more villagers to become our friends and for us to get more sunstones out of them, I figured that that would be a nice easy one to grab. And it's Sunday today, so I cannot go and talk to Ganon, which is a shame. Because I think it's about time I built the chicken coop. I've been looking back at my past couple of recordings and boy, we sure have been making some very, very good progress in terms of sunstones and things like that. But I haven't really been making a ton of progress on much else. I've kind of been dropping the ball on uh, exciting new purchases and advancements on the farm and stuff like that. So if we go into the assets menu, you can see that we're awash with money. We've got over $25,000, which has mostly been because I've been able to sell corn and tomatoes finally, and I should get one more harvest of each of those before the season is done with. And building the chicken coop without using lumber cost about $18,000. So I would still have money left over to buy seeds in the fall time, to buy a chicken to put into the coop, and I would be able to save my lumber. I have 108 pieces. I've been using my stamina a lot to chop wood. That's what I've been doing a lot in my off time of not recording, because I realized that I was kind of slacking on that too. We didn't have a ton of lumber in our stock. Ooh, it's gonna be a hot day tomorrow. All right, well, I should water then. 
when I get back to the farm. I am surprised that Natalie's hearts are moving this quickly. It's a pleasant surprise. I didn't think that uh, these would do the trick so well, but I guess she just really loves those blueberries. I've got a couple more days to scrounge up whatever more I can find before the season changes. And that was pretty much all I wanted to cover. If I wanted to, we could go to Meadow Island and raise the Wild Animal Island. Because we currently have enough sunstones to do that. But I think what I will do is I will raise the small island that we have available right now, which is called Link Island. And I think the reason that I'm going to do that right now is because Link Island will unlock a couple of extra islands for us to raise, but we need to build bridges to every single island, which is going to cost us some lumber. And with every single thing that we need to do in this game costing us lumber, it'll give me a good idea about how much lumber I should be using on which project. an awful lot of time and energy to raise this tiny, tiny, tiny little island. Strange that it takes just as much energy to raise the Mystic Islands or Volcano Island. There are still other sunken islands around the one that just resurfaced. Aha! That's good to know. Thank you. So that's where you get the plot twist, that your work is not quite done yet and you got way more stuff to raise than you originally thought. You need a bridge to reach this island. Ask Ganon to build one. Oh, I will. Unlike the chicken coop, his bridge upgrades are not cheap. You are going to be in the hole regardless of whether or not you're asking him to build the entire thing, or whether you are going to use your own lumber. Uh, either way, the price is pretty steep. And I knew that was coming. Fortunately, um, the good news is that the islands that we need to get to are more expanding upon our farm, and they don't lock us out of meeting any other characters. We have to raise all of the islands in order to unlock Chelsea slash Mark, depending on which gender you're playing as. So I guess for that reason, you do need to unlock every island, but it's not like these islands that we've been unlocking where you unlock it, and then people move into it later on. We won't be unlocking any villagers for quite a while. And I also realized too that there are two sub-villagers that I haven't introduced everybody to yet. Uh, there are two miners that move into uh, or onto the island once we unlock Volcano Island, but I always sort of forget about them, and the gifts that they like are mining items, which is, you know, I guess it makes sense, but we have to get fairly far down into the mine to be able to get them anything that they would like, and we just don't have a ton of stamina to do that right now. I will write it on my to-do list. I will be sure to make sure to include that in a video and 
just kind of introduce ourselves to them. The crop festival coming up might actually be a really good day to do that because everybody is going to be in their house, sub-villagers included. So I can always go to their house and introduce them then. They both live on Berger Island. And their houses are not too far apart. I am too lazy to take the boat and then take the boat back just to talk to Shay. Uh, so I guess I'm skipping him today. And I think now that's that's pretty good in terms of what I wanted to talk about. It gave this video a little more sustenance. I'm gonna go to Harvest Bright Island really quick. I'm always worried that I'm gonna get a new cutscene here when I'm playing off screen. Uh, the cutscene would basically just be us getting another harvest sprite out to uh, help us. But I've been giving the dark green sprites gifts for quite a while now, so I am anticipating that's probably going to happen soon. So if we zoom out on the map, you can see that the bridge would go here and it would bridge onto that island we raised just to the north. So it's a little frustrating because you use these sunstones and you don't really get to see the results of your labor because it's so far away, you need to build a bridge to it first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play today and tomorrow. I'm assuming there's not really going to be a whole lot going on. It's been pretty quiet. Uh, me just playing a couple days in between festivals. And then we will be ready to compete in the Summer Crop Festival on the 29th, which I'm looking forward to. I really hope we get a nice, wonderful... If I get another purple one, I think I'm going to scream. Fingers crossed. If anything comes up, I will, of course, let everybody know. And we'll make it into another video before the festival. But if not, I will see you all on the 29th of summer for the crop festival. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope that I will see you next time.